Hey there, local service business owners, Justin from Pronto here. And you are here because you are looking to attract more customers and grow your business, right? And Google Ads is on your radar to help you reach your target audience online. But maybe you're not sure where to start or you're worried about blowing your whole budget without a solid understanding of how it works. Well, no worries, I've got you. In this video, I'm gonna break down Google Ads and give you a foundational understanding of how it can make a significant impact on your local service business. And look, I know you're busy running your business and serving your customers, so I'll keep things clear, concise, and focused on what you need to know to make informed decisions. So let's get right into it here. All right, so picture this. It's 5 a.m. and a homeowner wakes up to a burst pipe flooding their kitchen. They whip out their phone and search Google for emergency plumbing near me. Now, if you're a plumber in the area, you know you're gonna want your business to show up at the top of those search results. And if you're at all familiar with Google Ads, you understand that Google Ads can help you do that. But for those who are new to this, Google Ads allows you to place your ad right in front of potential customers at the exact moment they're searching for your services. No more waiting and hoping they'll find you organically. You jump straight to the top of the page and get in front of those high intent, ready to buy customers. Plus you can specify exactly which geographic areas you want to target. So you're only reaching the people in your service area. You can also target specific keywords related to your business. So you're showing up for the searches that are most relevant to what you offer. But I think the biggest advantage of Google Ads for local service businesses like yours is the ability to track and measure your results. Unlike traditional old school advertising methods like print ads, with Google Ads, you can see exactly how many people clicked on your ad, how many of those clicks turned into customers, and what your ROI is. And really, that's what this is all about. Okay, so let's zoom in. So first, I want to break down the key components of a Google Ads campaign. Think of it like a car. There are a few essential parts that need to work together to help you get to where you want to go. Uh, so first off, we got keywords. These are the words or phrases that people might search when they are looking for a business like yours. For example, if you're a plumber, your keywords might be things like plumbing services, leak repair, or water heater installation. Basically, you want to choose keywords that match what your potential customers are searching for. Okay, next we have ad groups. An ad group is a collection of ads and keywords that all relate to a specific theme or service. So if you offer both plumbing and HVAC services, let's say, you might have one ad group for plumbing keywords and another one for HVAC. This helps keep your campaign organized and ensures that your ads are relevant to what people are searching for. And speaking of ads, that's the next piece of the pie. Your ads are what actually show up on the search results page when someone searches for one of those keywords. A good ad should be clear, concise, and well, interesting. You want to grab people's attention here and make them want to click through to your website. Where on your website? Well, not the homepage. Let's get that straight right now. Imagine looking for a quote on eavesdrop repair and you're sent to a website with a huge video banner, a mission statement, and a bunch of photos of roofers and no direct mention of eavesdrop to be found. Yeah, make sure you don't do that. You should send all your ad clicks to a landing page. And it's important that that page is directly relevant to the ad that people clicked on. And that makes it easy for them to take the next step, whether that's filling out a contact form, making a phone call or scheduling an appointment. All of these parts, keywords, ad groups, ads, and the landing page need to work together seamlessly to fuel an effective Google Ads campaign. Here's the thing, diving into Google Ads without a specific goal in mind is like getting into that car we talked about and starting to drive without knowing where you're going. Yeah, you might end up somewhere interesting, but chances are you'll just waste a lot of time and gas along the way. So what kind of goals should you be setting for your Google Ads campaign? Well. It depends on what you want to achieve. Maybe you want to drive more phone calls to your business, or maybe you want to increase the number of online bookings or submission forms. Whatever it is, make sure your goal is specific, measurable, and realistic. Once you've got your goal in mind, it's time to think about how you'll measure your success. This is where some key performance metrics come in. These are kind of like the gauges on your car's dashboard. They give you a clear picture of how your campaign is performing. Here are some things that you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on. Okay, so first off, we have click-through rate or CTR. This is the percentage of people who click on your ads after seeing it. A high click-through rate means your ad is relevant and compelling to your target audience. Okay, so next up we have conversion rate. This is the percentage of people who take the desired action, like making a phone call or filling out a form after clicking your ad. 
A high conversion rate means your landing page is doing its job and effectively guiding people towards taking action. Okay, and next we have cost per conversion or CPC. This is how much you're paying on average for each conversion. You want to keep this number as low as possible while still driving a good volume of conversions. When you put all of these together, they will give you a clear picture of how your campaign is performing and whether you're on track to meet your goals. But, and this is a big but, don't just set it and forget it here. Your Google Ads campaign isn't a crock pot. You can't just dump a whole bunch of ingredients, set the timer and walk away. You need to be continually monitoring your metrics, making adjustments and fine tuning your approach based on what's working and what's not. And also don't get too discouraged if you're not seeing immediate results. A successful Google Ads campaign takes time, patience, and a willingness to experiment. But if you stay focused on your goals, keep a close eye on your metrics, and aren't afraid to make changes along the way, you'll be well on your way. All right, so remember those keywords we mentioned earlier? The ones that people have to type into Google when they're looking for a business like yours? Well, choosing the right keywords to target is absolutely crucial if you want your ads to show up in front of the right people at the right time. I mean, think of it this way. If you're a plumber, you don't want your ad showing up when someone searches for cheap flights to Hawaii, right? I mean, unless you're planning on fixing toilets in Honolulu. Those searches aren't gonna do you much good. But hey, that actually kinda sounds nice. On the flip side, if someone in your area searches for emergency plumbing services and your ad pops up at the top of the page, chances are pretty good they're gonna click on it and give you a call. So how do you figure out which keywords to target? This can be a really complicated process, but I'm gonna keep it really simple for you. Take a step back and start by putting yourself in your customer's shoes. What words or phrases would they use when searching for a business like yours? Make a list of those potential keywords and don't be afraid to get specific. For example, instead of just targeting plumbing, you might want to target keywords like 24 hour plumbing, residential plumbing services, clog drain repair, or water heater installation. The more specific your keywords are, the more likely you are to attract clicks from people who are actually interested in what you have to offer. Now, I know you might be thinking, but won't targeting more specific keywords limit my reach? I want my ad to show up to as many people as possible, right? And sure, targeting broader keywords might get your ad in front of more people, but all of those people probably aren't gonna be interested in your services. And every time someone clicks on your ad and then bounces off your site without taking any action, you're actually paying for that click without getting any real value out of it. So that's why it's so important to focus on relevance overreach. You want your keywords to be directly related to what you offer so that the people who click on your ad are more likely to turn into actual paying customers. And at the end of the day, taking the time to really nail your keyword strategy is one of the most important things you can do to set up your Google ad campaign for success. And trust me, when those high quality, ready to buy leads start rolling in, you'll be glad you put in the effort. All right, here's the deal. When you're running a local service business, you don't wanna waste any advertising dollars showing your ads to people who are outside of your service area. I mean, if you're a plumber in Seattle, what good does it do to have your ad show up for someone searching for plumbing services in let's say Miami? Okay, that's a pretty dramatic example, but I need to get this point across. So to avoid this, you need to leverage location targeting. Now, luckily with Google Ads, you can get hyper-specific about the geographic areas you want to target. So you're only showing your ads to the people who are actually in your service area. So how does it work? Well, there are a few different ways you can set up your location targeting. You can target specific cities, countries, or even zip codes. So if you only serve certain parts of your metro area, you can make sure your ads are only showing up for those people in that specific location. You can also set a radius around your business location. So if you're willing to travel up to 25 miles for a job, let's say, you can set your location targeting to show your ads to anything within a 25 mile radius of your base. You can also target specific places of interest like universities, airports, or commercial areas. This can be a good option if you specialize in serving certain types of customers or properties. A cool thing about location targeting is that it can help make your ads more relevant and compelling to your local audience. For example, you can use location-specific ad copy to highlight 
your local roots and show that you understand the unique needs of your community. So instead of just saying plumbing services available, you might say something like trusted Houston plumbers proudly serving the community for over 20 years. You can also use local extensions to make your ads seem even more relevant and useful to local searchers. For example, you can use location extensions to show your business's address, phone number, and even directions to your shop right in your ad. Or you can use call extensions to include a clickable phone number in your ad so people can easily call you right from the search result page. And here's the best part. When you combine location targeting with the keyword strategies we talked about earlier, you can create an ad campaign that's laser focused on reaching your ideal local customers. Okay. Let's look at the super simple example. If you're a plumber in Denver, you could target keywords like Denver Plumbing Services, Plumbers in Denver, 24 Hour Plumber Denver, and then use location targeting to only show those ads to people within your service area in the Denver Metro. The end result, your ads are showing up for the most relevant high intent local searches, and you're not wasting any money on clicks from people who are never gonna become your customers. All right. So you got your keywords nailed down and your location targeting is set up. Now it's time to talk about the actual ads themselves that your potential customers are going to see. Because let's face it, you can have the most amazing, brilliant keyword strategy and the most precise location targeting in the world. But if your ads are boring, generic, and just suck, nobody's gonna click on them. So I want to point out a few things to keep in mind when writing out your ad copy. The first one's obvious, keep it relevant make sure your ad copy actually includes your keywords verbatim so that people can see right away that your ad is relevant to what they're searching for. Next, you're gonna wanna highlight what makes you unique. What sets your local service business apart from all the others out there? Do you offer 24 hour emergency services? Do you have a team of highly trained and certified technicians? Do you guarantee your work? Whatever it is, whatever makes you special, make sure it's front and center in your ad copy. You can also use local terminology. You're targeting people in your specific local community, right? So don't be afraid to use your local landmarks, neighborhoods, or even slang in your ad copy to show that you're a true local business. All right, and let's not forget to include a clear call to action. What do you want people to do after they see your ad? Call your business, fill out a content form on your website. Make sure your ad includes a clear and compelling call to action so that people know exactly what is coming next. And another point here that I don't want to get lost, don't be afraid to get creative. Just because you're advertising a local service business doesn't mean your ads have to be boring. Use humor, emotion, or even a little bit of quirkiness to make your ads stand out from the hundreds of other local service ads out there. Here's an example of an ad that puts all of these things together. Claude Drain ruining your day? Our trusted Denver plumbers are here to help. 24 seven emergency service available. Call now. Okay, so let's break this down. The ad includes a relevant keyword, highlights a unique selling point, uses local targeting, includes a clear call to action, and even uses a little bit of personality and emotion to grab people's attention. Now, I'm not saying that every ad needs to be a stroke of creative genius here, but taking the time to craft ad copy that's relevant, compelling, and memorable can make a big difference in the success of your Google Ads campaign. Okay, so now I want to emphasize on an important point and one that I touched on a bit earlier. Your ad is only half the battle here. If you actually want to turn ad clicks into leads and customers, you need to have a landing page that's just as relevant and compelling as the ad copy we just talked about. Think of it this way. If your ad is the hook that grabs people's attention, your landing page is like the line and sinker that reels them in and convinces them to take action. Okay, so let's take a look at a few key elements. The landing page needs to be relevant to your ad. If your ad is targeting a specific keyword or service, your landing page should be all about that keyword or service. Your landing page should be focused on a single goal. What's the one thing you want people to do after they land on your page? Fill out a contact form, call your business. I mean, we talked about these things before. You need to decide what that one thing is. And whatever it is, make sure your page is laser focused on getting them to take that one specific action. Your page needs to be easy to navigate. Don't bombard people with a wall of text or a million of different links and buttons. Keep the page simple, clean, and easy to scan with a clear hierarchy of information and a prominent call to action. And don't forget to optimize your page for mobile. 
We're all on our phones and more and more people are using them to search for local services. So it's essential that your landing page looks and works great on mobile devices. Make sure your text is readable, your buttons are big enough to tap with just a thumb and your page loads quickly on a mobile connection. Another important element is social proof. People want to know that they're dealing with a reputable, trustworthy business. Include customer reviews, testimonials, or even just some nice photos of your team and the work you do to show that you're the real deal. To learn a little bit more about how all of this comes together, I've linked a great blog post on the topic down in the description. All right, now for the elephant in the room when it comes to Google Ads, your budget. Setting a clear budget and understanding how it works is absolutely essential if you wanna get the most bang for your buck with Google Ads. So first things first, how much should you be spending on your Google Ads campaign? Well, the answer is, it depends. It depends on your business, your goals, and your overall marketing budget. But here's a general rule of thumb we have here at Pronto. Start small and scale up as you start seeing results. You don't wanna blow your entire marketing budget on Google Ads right out of the gate, only to realize that campaigns aren't delivering the ROI you were hoping for. Instead, start with a modest daily budget, maybe 50 or $100 per day, and keep a close eye on your performance metrics. If you're seeing a good click-through rate and a healthy conversion rate, and your cost per conversion is in line with your goals, then you can consider gradually increasing your budget over time. But how do you actually allocate that budget within your Google Ads account? Well, you've got a few options. One approach is to set a daily budget at the campaign level. So if you have a $100 per day budget, let's say, that means Google will aim to spend roughly $100 per day across all the ad groups and keywords within that campaign. Another option is to set individual budgets for each ad group. This can be a good approach if you've got certain ad groups that are performing really well and you want to allocate more of your budget towards them while dialing back the budget for ad groups that aren't delivering as strong of an ROI. Regardless of which approach you choose, it's really important to keep a close eye on your budget and make any adjustments as needed. If you're constantly hitting your daily budget cap, and your ads are getting throttled, then that's a sign that you might need to increase your budget to stay competitive. On the other hand, if you're not even coming close to hitting your daily budget and your ads are barely getting any clicks at all, that could be a sign that your keywords aren't competitive enough or that your ads aren't resonating with your target audience. Now, let's take a closer look at how your budget can impact your results in different industries. Let's compare two different kinds of businesses here, a managed service provider and a plumber. An MSP might have an average cost per click of let's say $30, while a plumber's average cost per click could be around $10. Let's say both businesses have a monthly Google Ads budget of $1,500. For the MSP, a $1,500 monthly budget would generate about 50 clicks. If their landing page converts at a rate of let's say 3%, they can expect to convert between one or two visitors from those 50 clicks. Then let's assume that 50% of those leads will actually turn into paying customers. So the MSP might gain one new customer from their $1,500 ad spend. Now, on the other hand, the plumber's $1,500 budget would likely yield about 150 clicks. With a 3% conversion rate, they could expect to convert between four to five visitors. If 50% of those leads become paying customers, the plumber might gain two to three new customers from their $1,500 ad spend. Okay, so with these examples, it's crucial to consider the lifetime value of a customer in each industry. For an MSP, a single customer could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of their relationship. A plumber's customer lifetime value, in contrast, might only be a few thousand dollars. And remember, the whole game here is ROI. So don't get too caught up in trying to keep your costs low as possible at the expense of quality. Focus on finding the sweet spot where you're getting the best possible return on your investment. All right, we covered a lot of ground in this video. We talked about why Google Ads is such a powerful tool for local service businesses, how to set up your campaign for success, and how to craft compelling ads and landing pages that convert. But I want to leave you with one final thought. Google Ads is not a set it and forget it kind of thing. It's an ongoing process of testing, refining, and optimizing based on your results. The most successful Google ad campaigns are the ones that are constantly evolving and adapting to what's working and
and what's not. So don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and make changes based on your data. If you found this video helpful at all, make sure to hit that like button and click subscribe. We are committed to continuing to help local businesses succeed. So stay tuned for more videos like this one in the future. Thanks for watching.